You may be inclined to believe that your typical Android or Apple smartphone makes your phone calls over satellite networks, but this hasn't really been the case since the late 90s for specific use cases such as military and emergency responders. Instead, your voice and video calls rely on terrestrial networks like 4G, LTE, and 5G. There's one glaring issue with this, coverage. If you're like me, you travel by train at least a couple times a month, and I don't know about you, but I encounter dead spots all the time, making it impossible for me to get uni work done in transit. AST Space Mobile operates in an emerging and highly competitive space industry. Unlike traditional satellite communication services, AST aims to leverage its proprietary technology to deliver 4G and 5G connectivity directly to smartphones without the need for specialized hardware. AST's business model hinges on strategic partnerships with mobile network operators worldwide which allows the seamless integration of its satellite service into existing mobile infrastructure. This approach, in theory, significantly reduces customer acquisition costs as AST leverages the existing customer base and networks of its mobile carrier partners. However, despite these advantages, AST faces challenges related to scalability, market adoption, and the substantial capital investment requirements for satellite launches and commercialization. This video essay will analyze how AST Space Mobile's partnership-driven B2B model compares to some of its closest rivals in the industry, Starlink and GlobalStar. AST has demonstrated that its technology is superior to that of its competitors, but what unique scalability, service delivery, and market adoption challenges do they face, and how can they be overcome to ensure long-term sustainable growth? I believe AST is an interesting case of business model innovation that will ultimately put them ahead of the competition in the industry. Let's take a look at Starlink. While Starlink faces very few scalability issues given that they are a subsidiary of SpaceX and therefore have cheap access to launch services, Starlink has faced great challenges linked with customer acquisition. Firstly, to access Starlink's internet service, customers must purchase a Starlink satellite dish and pay the relatively high internet price offered by them. Moreover, Starlink struggles as a direct competitor with established internet service providers that offer significantly cheaper plans, making it difficult to acquire reluctant customers. AST circumvents these issues by having developed, patented, and produced a technology capable of mimicking terrestrial networks. This allows direct communication with smartphones solving the physical service delivery problem by eliminating the need for a satellite dish. On top of this, AST recognizes the market adoption struggles that incoming players in the telecom industry often face. Instead of attempting to compete directly with MNOs, like Starlink does, AST has chosen to partner with these established telecom players. By doing so, AST gains access to their customer bases, existing infrastructure, advertising, and crucially, capital investment. In addition to its revolutionary business model, AST was awarded Emerging Space Company of 2024 by Space News Magazine hailed as a disruptive technology by many news outlets. According to the Harvard Business Review, disruptive innovation is a phenomenon where small companies with fewer resources successfully challenge established businesses by offering simpler, more affordable alternatives that eventually displace market leaders. I believe AST stands out as a disruptive technology in the satellite communications industry with regards to Starlink and GlobalStar. For example, one of GlobalStar's key activities is providing emergency messaging on Apple devices over satellite, serving a very niche market of users in critical situations. AST's disruptive technology can not only replace GlobalStar service, but provide much more with full broadband access, as a testament to how GlobalStar has lacked in innovation and become complacent with its market position in the satellite telecom business. AST Space Mobile's disruptive technology draws similarities to Netflix's disruptive innovation in the entertainment industry, where both companies challenge traditional models by offering simpler and better alternatives to established services. Another crucial similarity to Netflix is AST Space Mobile's first mover advantage. By being the first company to develop hardware specifically for direct-to-sell technology, AST has positioned itself strongly to dominate the D2C market, benefiting from the competitive edge of being first. This advantage is evident given how Elon Musk's Starlink is playing catch-up with AST, launching an inferior D2C service with T-Mobile that struggles with basic functionalities like sending and receiving text messages. Meanwhile, AST has already achieved a groundbreaking milestone with the first 5G video call from space with Vodafone, demonstrating the power of its advanced technology and strong first-mover position. In conclusion, AST Space Mobile's disruptive innovation in satellite communications 
revolutionary business model, with its first mover advantage, positions it to surpass competitors like Starlink and Globalstar. By offering direct 4G and 5G connectivity to smartphones without the need for specialized hardware, AST ensures efficient service delivery and addresses scalability issues through partnerships with mobile network operators. This model not only reduces customer acquisition costs, but also enhances market adoption, especially in underserved areas. AST's ability to scale, innovate, and lead in service delivery places it in a strong position to dominate the direct-to-sell satellite market.